Hey everybody, Bill the Sky Guy here. I'm on my way to the observatory site. Got some interesting surprise news last night. The uh, guy I've been talking to about pouring the concrete foundation for the observatory had a surprise opening. I was figuring this was going to be three months down the pike, but he called last night and said, hey, we've had a cancellation. Could we work tomorrow and the next day? And even though it's a bit of a scramble, I said, hey, I checked the calendar and yeah, yeah, okay, I can, I can make this happen. So I am on my way to the observatory site and going to let them in. They're going to get started on prep work. So today they're going to uh, clear the topsoil, uh, put up the form for the concrete, and they're going to cover that with plastic as a moisture barrier, and then they're going to set up some rebar, and we'll be ready for a concrete pour in the afternoon. So that's very exciting. I wanted to put the bolts that will hold the pier in place sunk into the concrete so I don't have to drill them. By the end of the day tomorrow, I'm going to have an observing pad that will be the foundation for the observatory. So I am completely psyched about that. Phase one happening for real. Unbelievable. Also, the observatory itself, which is a Next Dome product, uh, it's made out of plastic. And back in February, I believe it was, there was this hard freeze in Texas that severely damaged the plant that is responsible for almost all of the plastic resin in the entire continent of North America. Uh, there's a huge plastic shortage and uh, supply lines are really, really disrupted. And even though I was told 10 to 12 weeks when I placed the order for the observatory back in early March, it looks like that slipped at least two or three more weeks. So probably get the observatory shipped maybe early June, and so that'll be interesting, but apparently it takes like two to three weeks for concrete to completely cure. Unfortunately, I'll be putting this thing together when it's hot. Well, that's the brakes. So, things are very, very exciting. Wow, this is actually going to happen. Unbelievable. This Bill the Sky Guy. Let's take a look at some of that video from them working. There are some trees inside the observatory boundaries we're going to have to move. That'll be my job. A couple of them there. Awesome. There we 
go. Tree replanted. Only I would wear white shoes to a gig like this. Bobber Brown there. This is very exciting. Making the call to have the concrete delivered. We're, we're ready now. Could you uh, could you send maybe like six of those uh, cement bricks with the dropper? Well, this is all very exciting. I'm waiting for the concrete truck to show up. At eight o'clock last night, I had no idea any of this was gonna happen. And in about an hour or two, I'm gonna have a cement pad poured. This is unbelievable. You, you just see all kinds of things in the country. Nope, thought that was a cement truck. Instead, it's an Airstream. All right, this looks very much like a concrete truck. And they just drove right past me. Unbelievable. I guess it must be fun to make a U-turn in a concrete truck. Let's try this again. Gotta love that. All right, here we go leading the concrete truck out to the job site. Some pretty tight things for it, but it's going to have to brush some branches out of the way. Oop, big turn here. It gets even tighter here. Let's see if he's okay with that. I hope he's got better ground clearance than I do. Look at all this grass growing up in the middle of the wheel tracks. Can't tell if it's just grass or if it's something that's going to scrape the underside. All right, we've made it. is that when it's ready, it's ready.
Yeah, I can see why you'd want to wear rubber boots. bonus round. later, plus two weeks of drying. Amazing. That is how you do that.